Hey everybody, it's Flat Cap Cafe Racer. Um, I recently lost my trailer, so I'm kind of experimenting here. I want to see how I can fit the bikes in the back of my uh, Ford Transit Connect. Um, it's been a while since I put any in here, and quite frankly, I don't remember whether I put this Thruxton R in there. So stay tuned and see how we do. I've got a cargo transit connect here and what I'm gonna do we're gonna I'm gonna try to do is once mr. Bill gets here I want him to kind of spot me because I'm not real sure that uh, I'm gonna do this if you can see up here from right to here to top which is the lowest spot here down to the bottom here it's about 44 inches So anything tall, once I get it in, it's fine. But so what I've done is I've taken the windscreen off of here, which has it. So it should be about 43 inches to this point right here, the highest point. So it should go in here and fit in here nicely. Um, I lost uh, my, my chocks, my wheel chocks, when they stole the trailer. But I did have a wheel dock that I did not... Put in the trailer and i used to bought this wheel dock just for this purpose of loading it in a in a van wheel dock in a trailer also and i just kind of had it i had it screwed down with these and these holes right in here front and back then i can do it but for the the van i've got it pushed up all the way to the front and i've got some little uh, metal straps here and I've got some straps here to kind of keep the wheel dock from moving a lot but what the wheel dock is kind of unique in the that you don't have to bump it up over like a wheel a normal wheel chalk you have to bump it up over then pulling it out which is kind of can be hard to do when you're inside the van so why this is kind of neat is you can roll in Roll the tire in, then you, you can push this and it kicks up and it locks it in. Now it's not quite as good as a regular wheel chalk, but it runs, it runs pretty good right there. Then I can strap the wheel tightly to the wheel chalk and uh, then, I'll, then I'll do tie downs to keep it. The main thing for me is to keep it from sliding forward. And to, like if you had a hard braking situation, you don't want it to slide forward. So the main emphasis is to keep it pulled back towards the back and keep it from going left and right. Are you going to walk it with the engine on? Oh. So we're just going to, just for right now, we're just going to set it in here to see. So, so I think, let's just take the, the ramps loose here, just move them back just a little bit. Oh, 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 oh,
this. Got an inch to spare. <laughs> Well, let's see if, uh, if this side will close too. Oh, it'll close. Oh, it's got to be a naysayer in the back. <laughs> oh, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> oh. I like it. <laughs> it's like when you mark start to start running. It. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what we see here is uh, how we can fit the thrust in R. You can see it's a lot of room in here once you get in, but uh, there's only about an inch to spare. Uh, so the windscreen hit the windscreen bubble has to come off. There's like eight screws on that So that's pretty easy to do so we can actually haul that I have some straps I have a strap right here That I use to strap the wheel to the wheel chalk so it goes in here Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.